All right, Kareem. Ah, you suck, Kareem. Hello? Huh. Hey, Ted. God. Oh, hey. Hey there, fella. How are you? Are you out here all alone? Uh, no. No, I'm not. Uh, you know, you're never alone when you're with Christ. So, no, I, I'm not alone. Yeah. Yeah, me too. You know, Robert and I could give you a very, very good home. Yeah, you know, I, I'm pretty happy where I am. I just got a shitty new apartment. I can I... offer you $6,000 in railroad bonds. Uh, well, you know, since I just returned from active duty in the Civil War, that actually sounds very appealing. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. That was 150 years ago, and uh, I don't give a shit. Okay. Teddy, come on. We're going to be late for dinner with your friends. Okay, I'll be there in a second, baby. As you can see, my dance card is quite full, yeah. so okay. I'm going to have to decline. Okay. Can I just get a hug? Oh, uh, no. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I, and it yeah. kills me to, to have to tell you no, because I'm a people pleaser. Yeah. But, uh, you know, thank you for creeping up my night, and Jesus be with you. Okay. In Christ. Who was that guy? Oh, that, that was, uh, Sinead O'Connor. She don't look so good no more. How great is this? How the four of us out to dinner, how long have we been saying we were going to do it? Laurie, how are you doing? I, I haven't talked to you in forever. I'm good. I'm good. You tell him, Piplup. Um, the company's having their 20th anniversary party next week, so Ooh. that's something. Laurie's the senior VP at a big, huge PR firm. It's, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, company's turning 20, so you can bang it, but you can't get it drunk. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, she gets it. She gets, she enjoys my humor. Yeah, I mean, Rex is having a house party, but I'm surprised John didn't tell you, considering you two have seen each other every single day since you moved out. Well, you know, it's funny, because whenever Johnny and I hang out, uh, the first item on our agenda is, uh, what's going on with Lori? So, you know, it's funny that that didn't come up. That must have slipped through the cracks. Yeah, I mean, we do. We talk about you all the time. Yeah, you remember the other day I was saying how great Laurie's hair always looks. I mean, oh, my God, it always looks so great. I just always want to fucking brush it. You know, I, I, right, Johnny? I say that. So, Tammy Lynn, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Like, where are you from? I'm always fascinated to meet Ted's girlfriend. What do you mean, got friends? Was it like a lot of them or something? No, no, that's that's not what she meant at all, right? Laurie, no, you didn't mean that. No, 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 that, what I meant to say was Ted's very handsome, so I'm always interested in meeting the lady that can snatch him up. Did you just call me a whore? What? You just worry about your own snatch. How about that, honey? Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. What the hell whoa, happened? Whoa, happened? We're having a friendly yeah, meal this here. This was a nice, nice evening. Time. Don't talk shit to me. I just asked you a question. You know, you're a freaking snob. You think you're all cool because you work at some fucking fancy shit place? Okay, Whatever. take it easy. Nice, Laurie, real nice. M me? It's not my fault she can't speak English. Oh, fuck you. Just because you're on the business world and shit, you think what? Everybody should, like, suck your asshole or something? Okay, all right. <laughs> look, Tammy, look, look, come on, honey, let's get out of here. We'll go back to my place for a couple of vodka and strawberry quicks, you all right? You know come what? On. I gave birth once, bitch. I could kick your fucking ass, and you better never show your face around Quincy. Okay. You hear okay. me? Okay, come on, come on. I didn't know you had a baby. Is it alive? What a cunt. Ow! I hate that word! What? That word, it's so sharp, it's like an electric sword slashing everything what? in its path. Why would you say that? Well, you didn't exactly stand up for me. I'm trying to walk a line here. I want to be fair to you and to him, you know? Well, I think you're being a little more fair to him. Oh, come on. You know, your boss called this morning asking me how my arm was. Huh? Yeah, because of that dog fight that I tried to break up. Oh. If I have to make Yes, I would say that you made up some bullshit excuse to get out of work to go to Ted's. Now, am I right? I made you out to be a hero. You know what, John? We asked Ted to move out so we can give ourselves a chance without him. You're not giving anything a chance if you keep blowing off work to get high with your teddy bear. You're right. I've been getting stoned too much. I know that. I've been bumming around with Ted too much. I know that, too. You give me one more chance, I promise I can fix it. John, I need a man. Not a little boy with a teddy bear. I know. Done. Man. Right here in front of you. All right, look at these pecs. These are man pecs. Look at the hair on my upper lip. That's man hair. I just fought it. That was a man fight. <laughs> Fine. 
fine, John, but this is, this is, I swear to God, your last chance. Trust me, I love you. Not by it, I love you. I love you so much, you won't be sorry, I swear. Did you really just fart? Yeah, but I pushed it that way with my hand. I wonder who's gonna hit first. So, I told him once, I told him a million times. <coughs> These numbers do not, do not <coughs> add up. Who did this to us? God damn it, I'm here on business! Oh.